Hey guys, it's Dan. Um, I'm here to do another, you know, pickups video. This time I'm going to be filming my May pickups. And <clears throat> it's going to be slightly different than other pickups I've done in the past few months. I really, I honestly do not go into every month thinking, oh yeah, I plan on purchasing or getting so many books. I just don't, I just, it's on a spur, like whim, spur of the moment. And I just happen to come across books that I'm going to pick up. Uh, three of these books I'm going to share with you at first, I picked up from a library book sale. It was at the beginning of the month. Um, if you do not know already, I read and reviewed Fight Club, so I happened to see this copy at the Library Book, book Club. Um, so I was reading a library copy, so I decided to pick up my own copy of that. Still not sure if I ever plan on rereading this again, but I picked it up at the time I was currently reading the book. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I mean, I may just resell it. I may just shelve it. Give it away to a friend. I do not know at this point. <clears throat> um, also from that library book sale, I, I found this. The, I'll admit, the cover drew me in. I had never heard of this. And I don't know if it's considered uh, sci-fi, but it is called The Speed of Dark by Elizabeth Moon. And it's about, it's kind of almost like a Flowers for Algernon kind of tale because it involves a guy who is autistic and it's a chance to try a brand new experimental cure for his condition. Um, I really don't know how I'm going to feel about this because, you know, I, I don't think that autism is something that needs to be cured and like, it's kind of scary when parents are giving their kids like bleach to cure autism. Yeah, I am not kidding when I say that. No joke. Go ahead and Google it. It's a legit thing. There's parents giving their kids bleach. It's really sad. But yeah, so I mean, I might read this. I might hate it. I don't know, but I'm willing to give it a shot. I mean, it does sound kind of interesting. And the pinwheels with the, uh, with the <laughs> zeros and ones kind of really suckered me in. Um, also, I saw this. I've never read any Frederick Pohl, but um, I saw this Man Plus, and I was like, you know what? I know that this is one of those quintessential like sci-fi authors, so I was like, it's about Mars and and an expedition to Mars. So I mean. I like those kinds of stories, like I liked those when they were done by Ray Bradbury, so I might enjoy this, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up because I may enjoy reading it, and like I said, I, it's an author I've never read before, so I was willing to give him a shot. If you've read him, if you happen to have read Frederick Pohl, let me know what you thought of him, and then later in the month... Because I thought I was only going to purchase those three books for the whole month. And then later in the month, I um, I picked up Scar Tissue by Anthony Kiedis. Um, I used to really, really enjoy the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, the last album I really liked was Blood Sugar Sex Magic, and Mother's Milk was really good. But um, I kind of stopped listening to them for a while after that. Um... I know I have a friend or two who's tried to recommend me some of their newer albums. Uh, Californication, I think, is one of them, possibly. But um, there was another album he tried to recommend to me, and I just, I didn't like the sound of it. It was kind of too different. It wasn't as punk as it used to be. But, you know, I think it might be interesting to read a, I like reading musician biographies. I've read Marilyn Manson's, I read Jim Morrison's, and a few others. I just can't think off right off the top of my head right now. But yeah, sometimes I like to read musician biographies, so this might be fun. Not sure yet. I mean, it may suck for all I know. And then I picked up, um, as you can see from the cover, now a major motion picture. Um, this is the one that starred Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. 
and it was the Revnet. This is the one about the the Skinner tracker or whatever you want to call him. Goes out into the woods and gets attacked by a bear when he's out looking for furs, animals to kill for furs. Um, yeah, historical fiction. So this. I'm not really a big fan of westerns. I know that's like a whole different generation. But I, 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 I like historical fiction. So I was like, you know, I enjoyed that film. So why not go ahead and give the book a shot? I honestly didn't even know that that was based on a book until I saw this. And I was like, oh, I like that movie. And then I picked up... And this one is... This one is one that, you know, I typically, this is out of my comfort zone. I don't usually pick up stuff like this, especially seeing how big it is. But um, I picked up 1Q84 by Haruki Murukami. I've never read any um, Japanese to English books. I know that they're kind of popular. Um, I know there's a lot of people who are really into Jap Japanese culture and they kind of like read a lot of this stuff. But this would be my first time ever having read a, you know, book that's been translated from Japanese to English. And I wonder if that's why it's so thick. But it's, I guess it's a dystopian and it says it's to rival George Orwell's 1984, so... Hopefully it's decent. Hopefully it's good. I mean, for being this thick, I'm willing to give it a shot at some point. I just don't know when I'm going to get into reading something this massive. But, yeah, I'm willing to give that one a shot. And then, um, I there's a guy that works at one of the libraries I go to. And we talk comics, you know, because I always take out trades and graphic novels and stuff all the time. And he... He happened to mention to me, he's like, hey, you know, I got a bunch of books I'm looking to get rid of. Um, would you like to take them off my hands? And I was like, yeah, sure. So this is going to be a different kind of pickups video. I don't usually, you know, pick up single issue books. But I figure, why not? I'll go ahead and I'll share these with you guys if you're interested. Um, if you absolutely do not want to see single issue comics again... In one of these pickups videos, let me know down below by leaving a comment. If you want to see more single issue comics, I have like boxes of old comics. Um, I used to have a really good collection until I lost them all in a house fire. Like I used to collect all the issues of the X-Men. And I had probably a lot of money invested in those comics. But they're all gone now. And then I, I started a box after the house fire and I don't remember exactly what's in that box but if you guys would like to do a unboxing of that I mean I can film a video of me unboxing that and going through what's in that box because I don't remember what what all is in that box of comics but I can share them with you guys if you want so leave me a comment down below if you want to see that but he he told me about this one it's like Wolverine versus Conan I fucking love Conan the Barbarian, and I love Wolverine. Um, my youngest son is named Logan because of Wolverine. <laughs> so yeah, um, and then he told me about this Elric character, this um, English author named Moorcock. So I, he told me about this, and he's like, yeah, dude, you really should check out this guy's fantasy stuff, and he gave me a book or two of that. Um, also, we discussed... Valiant, and I told him, I says, well, I've read the newer Valiant books, but I have never, never read any of the original Valiant books, so he grabbed me a few, and I'm not going to take them out and flip through them, just, you know, I, I don't even know when I'm going to read these, but like, you know, they're kind of interesting. Like, these are the old, original, like, Valiant books from back in the day when they started. And then there's some some DC, like, Phantom Stranger. I think he gave me that all four issues of this miniseries. Which 
I think I might have read that in a tree and I don't remember exactly. But yeah, there's those. Those he gave me at a different time than he gave me these. These ones I just got from him. And there's some old, because we were talking about like old image. And I was like, well, I know like I love like the really, you know, new image stuff. And he's like, oh, dude, you got to check out the really old image stuff. And, you know, when they first started the brand. And so he got me some of those. An old Invaders book. Versus Frankenstein, that should be interesting. Grimjack, which I've never heard of. Uh, Defiant Genesis, which I've never heard of. Magic, I've read this in a trade format, but you know, that's pretty cool. Um, the Terminator, ooh. Judge Dredd, you know, I, ooh, it's DC. I didn't even know that DC had put out any Judge Dredd books, but yeah. Mad Balls, that's like totally from the 90s. Um, some more Valiants, Magnus Robot Fighter, XO Man of War, Eternal Warrior, Spectre, XO Man of War, unity and that is all but yeah um if you guys want to you know see like i said that box of comics go ahead and leave me a comment um leave me a comment if you've read any of this stuff like anything the books i showed or the comics let me know what your comments are on them down below let me know what you thought of them <clears throat> Um, like I, I mentioned in every pickups video, I don't, I can't promise you guys, I don't want to, I don't want to get in the habit of purchasing new books every month. Like I said, it was just kind of spur of the moment kind of thing, just sort of happened, that I ended up with some books this May, and I really had no intentions. See, what I've been trying to do with my reading, my TBR takedown, is I've been trying to minimize and get rid of some books that I have on my shelves so that's what I've been doing um, I am currently for those I'm from now on whenever I do a pickups video I'm gonna kinda let you guys know what I'm reading so you can anticipate like reviews um, I'm currently reading Perfume Story of a Murderer by Patrick Suskind um, I did look up the pronunciation of the guy's name because I wanted to make sure I got it right. I'm like, how do you pronounce that double dot over the U? And it is Seuskind. Um, I thought, you know, so far it's a pretty interesting book. I'm only a quarter, maybe a third of the way into that one. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't really seem like a horror book. It seems more like historical fiction. But, you know, um, I remember seeing the film... <clears throat> by Tom Tickver a long time ago. It's been a very long time since I've seen it. And I'm kind of glad I haven't seen it recently because then I think I don't think I'd enjoy the book as much. But um, he did a film that I really enjoy called Run Lola Run, which is very good if you've not checked it out. Um, that is a German language film. Um, next, next month, or if I'm still reading Perfume, but I plan, the next book I plan on reading after Perfume will be Wetlands by Charlotte Roche. I think, I think her name is pronounced Roche. Um, that one is a German to English translation book. So, um, sort of like Perfume was German to English. But I do think that one I think I'm really going to enjoy because I there's a film, the same name, Wetlands, which is kind of not safe for work, kind of interesting and weird. I like weird kind of stuff, and that one it was just weird enough that I when I found out it was written, it was based on a book, I wanted to check it out. So that one will be my next book after Perfume, and of course I will do a review of it. But that's all I got for you guys. Um, yeah, I know not too many of you like check out the pickups videos but you know so yeah we'll leave it at that thanks for watching guys till next time later